Russian attack on Finland, or as the Russians call it, their counterattack against Finnish aggression, has, according to United Press reports, succeeded in 18 hours in attaining its primary objective, the resignation of the Finnish government. At least that is what the Russians have said is their objective, the replacement of the Kayander ministry by one which would be more friendly to Russia. In the first of the five air raids on Helsinki today, Russian planes dropped leaflets, but later air raiders dropped bombs, not leaflets. Several fires were started in Helsinki. Forty people were killed and 120 wounded there, according to a Finnish broadcast picked up in London tonight, and Viborg, Hunga, and other cities were also bombed. Tonight, a report spread through the Finnish capital that unless Finland made a complete surrender by 3 o'clock in the morning, that is 8 p.m. New York time, Helsinki and the other cities would be wiped off the map by air raids, leaving not even a trace. Hello everyone, this is Showtime 112. In November 1939, Soviet Union launched their invasion of Finland. The smaller nation had previously refused to give up some territory which Soviets demanded, so they decided to take it by force. In 1937, Finland was already aware of the potential threat from the aggressive neighbor and launched a purchase program for its air force. As all the major nations were also preparing for a conflict, none of them was willing to sell their aircraft to the Finns, so the deal was eventually made with Dutch company Fokker. Finland ordered 42 examples of their D-21 fighter, but only two-thirds of those were delivered by the time of the Soviet aggression. The Soviets deployed between 2,500 and more than 3,000 airplanes against Finland, depending on the source. After the war began, the Finns were attempting to acquire combat aircraft whenever possible, and one of the options was the British biplane Gloucester Gladiator. Twenty of them were purchased and another ten donated. The fighter was the ultimate development of an old concept, which became outdated as soon as it entered service. Two pairs of wings and fixed landing gear resulted in good maneuverability and simplicity, but the biggest downside was the type's low speed. Even before Finnish pilots took off their gladiators to the skies to fight the invaders, the type was already fighting on their side. Sweden had sent a volunteer group to fight for the Finns, which included 12 gladiator fighters under Swedish J-8 designation. But as the Swedish gladiator pilots were fighting the Soviets, Finnish pilots were getting acquainted with their own gladiators, which started to arrive in January 1940. The first pilot to score a kill was Pavel Berg on February the 2nd, but in this video we will focus on Oiva Tuominen, an NCO pilot who eventually became the most successful Finn flying the Gloucester Gladiator. He initially joined the Air Force as a mechanic in 1926, because his mother didn't want him to take pilot training, which he saw as dangerous. But eventually he became a pilot in 1933. He showed excellent flying and gunnery skills, but his superiors considered him to be stubborn. This is not necessarily unusual for a fighter pilot, though. When the war began, he was flying Fokker D-21 with number 24 squadron. Tuominen claimed one and a half kills against Soviet bombers before February 1940, when he was transferred to fly the Gladiators with number 26 squadron. More success against the Soviets came very soon. On 2nd of February, he was in Uti Air Base, still familiarizing himself with his new mount, Mark II Gloucester Gladiator. A radio message reported 27 Soviet bombers escorted by fighters approaching his position, and he took off with another pilot to intercept them.
As Tuominen was climbing, the Soviet pilots flying I-16 fighters spotted him. They dived on him, but Tuominen was able to avoid their fire with his slower but more maneuverable biplane. Those attacks continued for about 10 minutes until some of the Soviet pilots attempted to outturn the Finnish gladiator. This was a bad idea since Tuominen was able to gain a better position and he scored hits on an I-16. Some sources list this as a kill, while others say that the Soviet fighter was able to make an emergency landing. The fight, however, continued over the Gulf of Finland, and Tuominen was again successful against an I-16 that tried to maneuver with him. The Soviet fighter crashed. According to one source, the two Soviet pilots were Kiselyov and Pindyukov from the 49th Fighter Aviation Regiment, but I couldn't find another source to confirm these details. On 11 February, Gladiator pilots from 26th Squadron met Soviet I 16s again. Oiva Tuominen and Lauri Lautameki claimed an I-16 each, but both claims were listed as probables. Two days later, Tuominen took off in the afternoon hours, again with Lautameki. They were eventually vectored to intercept a large formation of Soviet DB bombers. Nine other gladiators were scrambled against them as well, and they soon met I-15 BIS fighters escorting the DB bombers. Soviets first shot down the gladiator flown by Danish volunteer pilot Knut Kalmberg. He didn't survive. Another Danish volunteer, Jorn Ulrich, first managed to shoot down two I-15s, but then suffered hits from the Soviet planes. He managed to land his gladiator and the airplane was written off. Finnish pilot Ilmari Yunseu claimed another I-15.
but as nine gladiators were fighting Soviet I-15s, the DB bombers were left unprotected. Tuominen and Lautameki spotted them and quickly attacked them. Tuominen was able to shoot down three DB-3s from the formation. Then, nine more bombers appeared. Tuominen and Lautameki first believed those were fighters, but as it became obvious they were bombers, they attacked them and shot down another one. Tuominen was credited with three and a half kills on that day, while Lautameki received half a kill. He commented at the time that he couldn't understand how Tuominen managed to shoot down bombers so quickly with only short bursts, while he needed several attacks for the same result. During a patrol that same day, Tuominen shot down a Soviet reconnaissance biplane and thus became the first Finnish gladiator ace. He ended the Winter War with eight confirmed kills and kept flying against the Soviets in the so-called Continuation War from June 1941. He was credited with 23 kills flying Italian Fiat G50 and finally 13 kills with Messerschmitt BF109. He survived the war with 44 kills to his credit, which makes him the fifth most successful Finnish ace. If you liked the video, be sure to press the like button. Join our Discord, become a Patreon supporter to ensure the future of the channel and keep watching Showtime 112.